Hare Krishna. My voice is Hare Krishna, so welcome, 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 warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the Bhagavad Gita, second chapter, second day, second session. Bhagavad Gita, the second chapter is entitled Sankhya. And uh, before we proceed to the second chapter, we'll go to the introduction. Actually, we saw in the introduction a boy who was very, very lazy. And he was kicked out by his parents and the village also kicked him out and he was hungry in the forest. He ran away, he was sitting and looking for food. In the meanwhile, he saw a fox which was limping and he felt how oh, the fox will uh, survive. Then he found that there was a roar and the leon had come with the flesh and gave it to the fox. So he got a message, a divine message, that God is sending a message that he should be like the limping fox and, uh, you know, wait for the food. So he came back to the village, had a small hut made for himself and he was waiting, waiting for a day, for two days, three days. The hunger was killing him and he was very miserable. A safety personality was walking by. The monks saw this boy is very sad, frustrated, depressed and he should do something. So... Saint being Paratusha Dukhi went nearby. He said, what's the reason? He said that, what's the problem? He said that uh, I received the message that I should be like the fox. Just sit in one place and Leon will come and give me the food. The, 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 the saintly personality said, yes, the Lord is giving a message. But the message is that you should not be like the fox, but you should like, be like the Leon. You should go around, work, make money and give food those who are like uh, helpless person a worthless uh, position. Hearing the words of the Sikhu made a difference in his life and he started working and he started contributing. He now started feeling better. The point is, the time he met the Sadhu, he did not know what is the plan of the Lord. He thought the plan of the Lord is to, that he should be like right. fox. Sadhu made clear the plan of the Lord is he should be like the Leon Bakar. So the Lord has got plan for all of us. And we saw yesterday that Duryodhan just missed the plan of the Lord. The uh, Prashtra missed the plan of the Lord. Arjun also missed the plan of the Lord. That was the thing. He was in a hopeless, helpless, and a miserable state. Whereas Sanjay and Vishma, Kidama were not at all disturbed. Why? Because they were in fine tune, in tune, one with the Lord's plan. And how do we understand the plan of the Lord? Plan of the Lord, the boy understood through Sadhu and Arjun will understand through Guru. The plan of the Lord is every one of us to uh, should experience unlimited happiness. Every one of us should be blissful and happy. Where so with this small introduction, let us proceed towards today's session for better understanding and easy assimilation of the subject matter. The session will be uh, taken in the following method. Phase one will see options still disturbed than phase two. We'll see the real identity and phase three. How can one get limited happiness? And how phase four will see how we can get unlimited happiness and inspire what are the what are the qualities of those who are experiencing unlimited happiness and we can then go for conclusion and question answers. So let us let us proceed with the session and come to the session, uh, the phase one of the session. 
Arjuna is still confused. Why he is confused? Why he is disturbed? Because he has a plan which is different from Krishna's plan. Krishna wants Arjuna to fight. Arjuna is thinking he will not fight. Still, in our life, we are, Krishna has got a plan for us, but we have a plan which is different from Krishna's plan. Then the whole thing will be uh, a horror show. No more, uh, uh, no more should uh, you know spend time or waste money for going to see horror movies. Just have a plan which is different from Krishna's plan. That will be the horror of the horror of the horror of our lifetime. So. Uh, Krishna is chastising Arjuna because Krishna is uh, uh, Krishna wants that Arjuna sh as his friend should be uh, should be in tune with his plan. So let us dive into the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita right now. Sanjaya Vajja Tantata Kripya Avestam Ashru Purna Akulekshanam visindantam idam bhagyam vajamadu sudana. Sanjaya is saying that uh, Arjuna was crying like a baby. He is a man which was uh, his father and he's also got uh, is a grandfather, but he's crying like a baby. This is what happens. And Arjuna is the gold medalist of. Uh, Duryodhana Institute of Military Warfare and he is the man of Dwapar Yuga. He is the man of Dwapar Yuga and everybody looks up to him for he was the person but the material world is designed in such a way that what to speak of Arjuna. Uh, if Arjuna it happens to Arjuna, what to speak of us? Everybody is put into a situation where one feels hopeless, helpless, useless worthless and that's the time we require God. Shri Bhagavan Vacha. Shri means, Shri means beautiful. Bhagavan is the most important person. Vacha means peace. That means the most important person is speaking. That means the, the most uh, beautiful and important person is speaking. That means he is speaking something which is beautiful and important for us. So, Vyasmini, whenever he says Shri Bhagavan Vacha, that means something uh, the most important and the most beautiful person is speaking and giving us something very beautiful and important. That means we should be very alert. We should be um, we should be uh, one point of focus to uh, catch up with all the words, not but every letter of the, uh, the speech which Krishna is giving. So Krishna, so we should have our we should sit alert in a very, uh, we should have our back on straight and our waist tight so that we are alert and catching every word, not to do any activity, not to think about anything, to speak here and that just focus. Try to get what Krishna is giving, something beautiful and important. Kutasta kasmalam idam visamaya what is this nonsense, Arjuna? You, you are in a miserable state. In this human form of body, you are supposed to be happy. You are worse than an animal. Animals don't have depression, frustration. You are into that. Anarya. In this human form of body, it should be accepting a guru, understand the plan of the Lord, be happy and make others happy. What nonsense is this? In human form of body, one, one achieves the happiness which one, one, one can experience in Vaikuntha. Arya is a person, one who is, uh, one who is uh, uh, experiencing in Vaikuntha. Forget about that. We are if we are not in tune with Krishna's plan, we won't experience the happiness which is in Vaikant. Forget about that, not even happiness which is experienced in Svarga. And forget about Svarga also. Akirti Karam Tana. Even the Pumandal uh, will be very miserable. Just understand the plan of the Lord and be in one team. Arjuna says, I am, I am actually feeling feeling compassion for compassion for Pishva, Adonacharya and Kapacharya. Play Bhimma, Smargama, Partha, 
is thinking krishna is my friend but now arjuna is in very hopeless helpless and worthless state and he is saying karpanya dosha upahata swabhava pricchami tvam dharma samuda cheta yakshesha nishita bhritane shishyaste ham satimatam prapantam the miserliness of the, uh, the weakness of my heart is actually not allowing me to understand the plan of the Lord. Oh, Krishna, Karpanya Dosha Pata Subhama. Now I am asking you, what is the 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 uh, what is my duty? Dharma Samuda Chetaha. I want to understand what is my duty. What should I do? What I should not do? Please, please answer it. Oh, Krishna, I want to hear from you. Yakshrayan, what is that activity which will give me the ultimate happiness? Oh Krishna, please tell me. Oh Krishna, I want to know what is the ultimate benefit for me. Shreyas and prayers. Shreyas means what is good for me. Prayers means uh, Shreyas means uh, uh, like in Hindi we say uh, uh, prayers means jo hame acha lagta Shreyas means jo hamare liye acha hai. What is good for me is Shreyas and what I feel is good for me prayers like for a child um, for a child uh, eating ice cream and playing the whole day is good for him he likes it he, he, he likes it he feels it is good for him but actually studying and preparing for examination and doing well in exams is actually good for him so that is prayers prayers is ultimate benefit and uh, prayers is image benefit which is not long lasting so he's saying, yesterday, Shani Shetan Puritan me, Krishna says, why should I speak? You will always argue and uh, and you speak like a scholar and defeat my uh, suggestions. He says that, no, 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 I'll become your disciple. Shishyas Teham Sadimam Tham Prapanam. I am your disciple. Please, please explain. Krishna says, you can go to Brahaspati, you can go to Vyasmi, you go to heaven, um, meet Prasapati and get the answer. Why should I speak? No, no. Wally, you, Wally, you can, you can understand my situation. Apart from that, not even we are somebody and not even Prasapati can help me. I, what I want is the divine knowledge and even if I get the whole universe, that will not make me happy. Nahi prashtam ki mapanu yaan Yaksho yukaan ujjhasanam nindriyanam Amatya dhumasa Haridam Ramajyam sura namapi Chadipatim Want to speak of the uh, earthly kingdom even if I get the kingdom of the uh, demigods it will not make me happy I am I am uh, in a situation where well you can understand so please 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 you uh, help me out Sanjay is speaking Sanjay Vacha Evan Uttarishikesham Gudakesha Parantapa Nayochaiti Govindam Uttva Tushmin who uh, Gudakesh is one who has conquered over uh, ignorance. Gudakesh is one who has conquered over uh, sleep. Gudakesh is one who is always enlightened. So Arjuna is called as Gudakesh and uh, one who is uh, uh, chastising the enemies. Anyway, the thrust was smiling and laughing. If Arjuna is gone, Pandavas, but Sanjay is warning him. He is Arjuna, but he's also good Akish and Paramtapa. So don't be <laughs> elated. So because Rishikesh, Krishna is with him. And Arjuna is saying, Nayo Chaiti Go in Kam O Krishna, I'm in a hopeless, helpless uh, situation, a worthless situation. I cannot follow what you say. Please, I cannot fight. I cannot find Govinda. You are the the giving pleasure to the senses, but my senses are in a miserable state. Oh, Krishna, give pleasure to my senses. I will not fight. I will not fight. Tamba charishi keshara prahasani dharata se nayo madhe visidhantam idam vacha 
Krishna, the, the, who is Rishikesha, is the controller of senses, was smiling. So that smile of Krishna is very, 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 in a way, sending a message significant that uh, that person with knowledge is always blissful. And a person who is ignorant is always crying. So this, the image of Arjuna and Krishna in Kukshetra is very, very uh, significant. We see Arjuna is in ignorance, that's why he's crying. And Krishna is in full knowledge, is always smiling. Because person in knowledge in that whatever happens, happens for our good. So a person who is in ignorance feels that something bad has happened for me, and that way he's always miserable and uh, in a worthless, hopeless, hopeless situation. Situation. Senior beyond Madhe, Visin Dantam Idam Vacha. Now Krishna is going to speak. And what is he going to speak? He's going to speak. Arjuna, you should understand are you. You are thinking you are Pandava and you are thinking uh, Duryodhana is Kaurava. I will tell you, neither you are Pandava nor uh, Duryodhana is Kaurava. You are soul, my part and parcel and and Duryodhana is also soul, my part and, uh, part and parcel. This is what is uh, being uh, will be taught in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. In the first chapter of Bhagavad Gita, it's like Arjuna is saying, I am Pandava and uh, the real one is saying, I am Kaurava. Krishna is saying, Are, wait, 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 let the second chapter come. I will tell you, who are you? In the first chapter, Arjuna is saying that Kaurava is my enemy and uh, Duryodhana is saying that Pandva is my enemy. Krishna is saying, wait, 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 <laughs> I will tell you who is your real enemy in the third chapter. And uh, that is Kame, Shakrode, Charajaguna, Mahashana, Mahapatma, Vidhi, Inam, Vaidhi. They are our real enemies. So the, then Krishna says, Arjuna says in the first chapter that they are in my side and the Kauravas, uh, the Duryodhan says the Kauravas are in my side. Krishna says, I will tell you who is in your side. That is in the fourth and fifth chapter. Guru is in our side and Krishna, Bhuktaram, Egyatapasa is in our side. So the concepts are getting clear now. Who, uh, who is, uh, Krishna is going to tell you, who are you? So, this is what Krishna is going to say. Sri Bhagavan Vacha, again, Vedyas Muni is addressing Krishna as Sri Bhagavan Vacha. That means one who is beautiful and one who is powerful uh, is speaking. Beautiful and an important person is going to speak. That means something good, beautiful, and important is being spoken. We should be very alert and we should catch every letter of. You're speaking like a learned person, but whereas a learned person, he never disturbed, never disturbed by one who is living or one who is going to die. You are, we are speaking like a very learned person, but you are, you are, you are thinking about what is not to be taught and you are, uh, you are not thinking about what is to be taught. So you should be thinking about soul and super soul, but you are thinking about body and others' body. So what is not to be worried about, you are worried about that. And what is to be concerned about, you are not concerned about that. For us, uh, that is our real problem. We are thinking about that which is not to be thought about. That's the real problem. We are thinking about money. We are thinking about power. We are thinking about uh, uh, facilities. This will automatically come if we are thinking about Krishna. Because human body is a thinking machine and thinking about Krishna. We are, we are worried about those things which are not to be worried about. And what we should be concerned and worried about is our spiritual happiness that Arjuna is not doing. And that's the problem everywhere in this fifteen world. Krishna says, I'll tell you who are you. And na na to eva ham jatu na sam na pumni mija na dipa na jayva na pavishyama sarve bhai pata para was never a time uh, I was not that. There was never a time you were not there. There was never a time uh, all the kings were not there. 
also in future they will i will be there you will be there and all of us will be there in the present we are here in past we were there and future we will be there because we are all spiritual entities and with this krishna is going to say the real identity of uh, uh, arjuna this is a very important lesson and the thought lesson yeah. our identity is, is arjuna is thinking he is thandava and is thinking vishwapita is my grandfather and krishna thing oh, oh. before 600 years where was vishwapita and where were you and after say uh, after say 3 months uh, where will vishwapita be and where will you be vishwapita was always mine is mine and will be mine how come you are in this illusion that he is my pitama so krishna is going to you know remove all the illusion like our real identity is that uh, what is our real identity many times we think that my identity is in my uh, passport my identity is in my uh, uh, my um, uh, election card my identity is in my uh, what is that a ration card and all that yeah so but uh, what is written in passport it's our name our uh, surname our nationality our gender and uh, these things but real identity is that identity which never changes at any time place circumstances real identity is that which never changes at any time place of the based at name changes today one may be amar tomorrow he may be akbar and uh, yes, but one may be antony yeah sometimes one may be john then can be chalak and jani any changes yeah we see something of change Girls, they get married from Shah, they become Mehta. Name changes everywhere in this world. So we may say, I am Hindu, but we say that Hindu becomes Christian, Christian becomes Muslim, Muslim becomes again Hindu and Sikh and everything. This, the religion also changes. We may say, my nation will not change. We find that many young boys, they study hard and go to America now, they become Yeah, yeah, citizens of America, etc., etc., etc. Nation also changes. So, what is our real identity? We may say that I am man. With my name may change, my, uh, <laughs> my nation may change, my religion may change, but I am man and I am male. She, she, I am female, or I may be eunuch. Whatever it is, that will not change. But my dear friends, devotees, we find that. we find that uh, we find that uh, young uh, young actors and actresses sometimes because of getting more uh, more uh, get, getting more charm they change they change uh, their their personalities uh, their gender the famous 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 the most famous personality in our time maybe uh, a decade ago yeah two decade ago was so famous that he was so his songs were so melodious melodic and was Make his voice more melodious. He gave doctors many money, and he said, "From male, make me female." And literally, he changed his color. He changed his uh, many things so that he gets a uh, you know more melodious voice like female. And when he left, it, it seems that the whole whole, whole internet or what is called social media crack maximum what is called views for that. And if you all can. Uh, Make a guess who this personality was who changed his uh, gender or tried to change his gender from male to female. Very famous personality, very famous, and he was the most famous singer of his time. Yeah, uh, many of you may be knowing Michael Jackson. He tried it doing that. So, so one may say, okay, I can change my gender, I can change my nation, I can change my religion, I can change this, 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 this. But I am human being. This identity of mine I cannot change. But believe it or not, in Sweden there was a young man who was impressed by a movie called Dog Man, like Spider Man, this man, that man. But Rodrigo Braga, it was two decades ago. He was the first man. He went to the doctor, gave him a lot of money. He said that make me the world's first real dog man, and the uh, was happy to be at the head of a dog, and he did some surgery with this uh, 
ऑलरेडी ग्रुप रह गया एंड्रॉइड ग्रुप रह गया इटली भी बस ऑफ द क्लास यू विल फाइंड ऑलरेडी ग्रुप रह गया इज वर्ल्ड्स फर्स्ट डॉग मैन ही चेंज फ्रॉम ह्यूमन टू डॉग सो व्हाट इज फॉर्मल आइडेंटिटी अवर रियल आइडेंटिटी इज दैट आइडेंटिटी व्हिच विल नॉट चेंज एट एनी टाइम प्लेस एंड सरकमस्टेंसेस एंड दैट इज व्हाट क्रिस्टल सेइंग अवर रियल आइडेंटिटी इज दैट we are souls to understand that our real identity we should understand what is the difference between a dead matter and a living matter like we can kick a football thar thur thar dud never ever in the in the history of creation uh, football ever complained say that tomorrow from tomorrow i will not come to the ground 11 to 11 22 people are kicking what is this uh, uh, i will not come i will not come but we have never seen heard such a thing happening because the football is not able to able to uh, feel anything because it's, it's a dead matter whereas in place of football if we are there even we get one small kick we will never ever dare go there yeah because we feel pain where is this pain coming from to understand where is this emotion the thoughts coming from to understand this we can take another uh, example uh or let us ask one question what is the difference between a life and a dead body a live body is also got two hands two legs two eyes mouth and uh, two ears and a dead body is also got two hands two legs but if we burn the dead body kick the dead body uh, put the dead body in ice does he uh, respond does he says oh it's painful is there any emotion no everything is same the dead body and uh, a few seconds he was experiencing pain emotions now he is not one is not experiencing any pain or any emotion what is that missing in the dead body and what is the that element in the uh, in the live body which was because of which the pain and the emotions are being uh, being experienced that element is um, being addressed in bhagavad gita as soul atma jivatma so that is what krishna is telling us real identity is soul our name can change, surname can change nation can change gender can change our body can change but i as soul was soul is soul and will be soul will never ever change krishna was god is god and will be god देहिनोस्मी This is me. This is a three kilo, uh, three kg at the age of three. This is thirty kg. This is at the age of twenty ten. This is me. Sixty uh, kg at the age of twenty. This is me. Ninety kg at the age of forty. So this is me. One twenty kg at the age. It's me, me, me. But but the weight is changing. The height is changing. But uh, we say everything is changing. But this is me because there's something uh, which is not changing even if. body weight is changing from 30 to 60 to 90 to 120 and 150 and we are going for some you know after that we go for weight loss and we are now 40 kg still we say this is me so there is something which is not changing and we identify and say that this is me and that is that element is called as soul matra sparshas to kaunteya sita osna sukha dukha da agama paino nityas tanti tiksha paratam bishma pitama drona they will become old and they will uh, they will die the body will die but uh, you cannot stop that you should not be attached to the body you should be attached to your duty these favorable things and unfavorable things are experienced by our senses matra senses what they see those no so good that sometimes may be cold that uh, uh, warm or hot or some that things will be favorable and sometimes things will be unfavorable to her but uh, this will come and go a person should never ever compromise or keep up his duty the teacher will wish tolerate everything tolerate all the all the situation 
on the conditions and be focused on the duty. Matras Vashas Purkonte Asi, Tarasana Sukhada Kada, Argama Pai Manshya Stam Dithikshin, Abharata Atina, this uh, will appear and uh, they will tell it is appear also. But we must learn to tolerate and not be disturbed and continue with our service. Vishnu Pitama was there yeah, and Vishnu Pitama is there. He was young once upon a time. He's going to leave his body. We should not get disturbed because Vishnu Pitama was there, is there, and will be there as a soul. Yamhina Vyatayanti Ete Purisham Purisha Rishabha Sama Dukkha Sukadiram So Amrit Tattva Kalpate So best of men Purusha Rishabh Arjuna So one who tolerates favorable and unfavorable situation happiness and strength and is focused on uh, the duty such a person is eligible to be liberated he can be uh, uh, Mukta he will be actually experience uh, the unarious strain that by happiness of life one who is seeker of truth has concluded for the body. You need not put any endurance because it will change. How much ever we polish the body, how much ever we shine the body, how much ever we look after the body, we will change. And for the soul, we do or don't do anything. The soul was there, is there and will be there. So, after studying the nature of the body and soul, one should one should one should uh, uh, invest the time, energy in, in getting more spiritual benefit rather than bodily benefit. What for bodily benefit uh, we achieve with time it will be it will be uh, taken away. So an uh, intelligent man will always work for the permanent happiness and that permanent happiness is when we work at, at the level of soul because soul is soul is can, can was that is there and will be there. It cannot be it cannot be destroyed by any weapons you have, Arjuna. Avinashi tu tad vidi e na sarvam idam tatam vinasham avyasya na kashit tatum arhati. That which is staying in uh, that, that, that element called a soul is in the body. It is in one area of the body. Later on, it will be said it is in the area of the the heart and from there the soul soul pervades the whole body in the in the form of consciousness like a bulb is in one corner of the room and when it uh, is on the light is uh, uh, pervading the whole of the room similarly the soul is in the region of the heart and will, I, by consciousness it's pervading the whole of the body that soul is one ten thousand, one ten thousand in size. Uh, that soul is in size. If you take the tip of the air, it will be one ten thousand uh, part uh, part of the uh, tip of the air. It is whether it's a blue whale or whether it's a uh, it's coronavirus. It's that small. Antavat ime deha nitya sopha shari rina nasino prape asya ashma dildashva parata. This body, uh, this body is uh, going to be destroyed. We, but within the body, our real self, that is soul, is indestructible, immeasurable. We cannot measure it with any microscope or telescope. It is beyond. But a reference is given. One ten thousand tip of the hair. And that uh, 
living entity uh, the, uh, that living uh, that is that is we the body will come to an end but the soul will never ever no weapon in your uh, in your camp can kill uh, bishma the soul e ya enam beti hantaram yashainam मन्यते हतम बदो ना विजानी तो ना हंती ना हन्यते that people will say that Krishna Arjuna has killed his uh, grandfather and teacher so uh, Krishna is saying one who thinks that uh, Arjuna you are a slayer of Bhishma uh, or uh, one who thinks uh, that uh, Bhishma is killed by you is not in knowledge he is a person with less uh, intelligence so why should why you get uh, be affected with a person who is not intelligent so because a soul cannot kill another soul or soul cannot be killed by other soul so this should be understood in a, pro a right perspective because once or uh, it, it's somewhere in an uh, early 70s there was a real you know, killer serial killer his name was he was a real terror <laughs> his name was ram rago or something like that rago ama ram rago he was a serial killer and when he was caught uh, he said that i killed so many people and he quoted bhagavad gita in bhagavad gita it is said that one cannot in ya ena veti hanta ram yaschainam manyate hatam ubatau na vijina Vijyanito Nayam Hanti Nahanyate was that the living entity cannot be a slayer, uh, one ca it cannot be a killer, not to be killed. So ha, I am not responsible, but this is not the real understanding. The real understanding is that yeah, the soul cannot be a killer and so cannot be killed, but as a, a, a person should not kill another living entity because. Uh, one who has given uh, the body has got the right to take the body. One who has given his birth can, has the right to uh, kill us. Whether, whereas if I have given birth to somebody or if I have given life to someone, I have the right to take life. But life is not given by us. Life cannot be taken by us. And if we do that, we will be interfering with Krishna's. The Supreme Pratan, the first and God's uh, law, and we will be punished. So, we cannot even kill a mosquito because we did not give the soul mosquito uh, body. It was given by Krishna, and he has the right to take it. So, we should not indulge in horrible acts like that. Najayate mirete vakadate nayam bhutva. Bhavitava na bhuya ajonitya shashata ayam purano nahanyate nyamane sharire. This soul, for the soul, there is no birth nor death at any time. He has not come into being and doesn't, does not come into being. He will not come into being. He is unborn, aja. He was eternal, everlasting, and primable, and he is not slain when the body is slain. So much information of uh, soul uh, is given in the second chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Ajwa is unborn, Vitya is always the Shashwat is el, uh, uh, eternal, Purano is the oldest. The soul, we don't know what is the real uh, date when soul appeared, but it's very, 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 very old. Veda, Veda, Avinashi, Nam, Nityam, Yahi, Mama, Jama, Vyam, Katam, Sapur, Shaparta, Kam, Gata, Yati, Hanti, Kam. The word Abhyaya will come in the second chapter, third chapter, fourth chapter, fifth chapter, sixth chapter, seventh chapter, eighth chapter, ninth chapter, tenth chapter, eleventh chapter, twelfth chapter, thirteen chapter, fourteen chapter, fifteen chapter, sixteen chapter, seventeen chapter, and eighteen chapter. Krishna, this is the word I find it's come maximum time in uh, Bhagavad Gita. Appearance, appearance, like, you know, something which gets uh, reduced. Like, when we light a candle, the candle starts, uh, you know, melting and melting, and it becomes less, 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 less. And uh, that is called Vyai. Vyai means it has become lesser and lesser by time. But Abhyai means time, money, 
anything it cannot it will not become less so the soul boss sachitananda is sachitananda will remain such such means eternal blissful and uh, full of knowledge how to serve krishna veda veda avinashi so partha a person who knows that the soul is indestructible eternal and born immutable immutable it will not change it will not reduce uh, cannot uh, cannot kill anyone not be uh, of the past cause animal to kill krishna was very intelligent he knew that the demons are very 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 uh, cunning they are trying to manipulate everything they are killing are trying to uh, destroy everything so krishna knew that if the demons are given full hand a liberty they may even kill the soul so krishna made soul in such a way that <laughs> they can uh, destroy the soul so uh so vishma uh, krishna is saying arjuna that uh, like a person chuma was a young man once upon a time now is old and uh, when he gives up this body again he will get a young uh, uh, fresh body so like a person who gets a new clock he is feeling happy so you do the needful <laughs> you kill him and uh, give him a new body but because he has to change the body if you don't kill if you don't fight as i tell you somebody else will do that and and uh, he is going to leave his body as it is but if you do it you will get glory and you will be glorified vasam se jirnani yata ihaya navani grinati naro rani ta sharirani vihaya jirnani anyani samyati navani dehi like a person gives up the old tone uh, garment and puts a new uh, fresh one uh, he feels uh, elated he feels better so bishma pitama also wants to give up this painful horrible uh, body why don't you do the needful nainam chindanti sastrani nainam dharati bhavaka na chainam kledayanti apo na shorchayati maruta body can be removed the body can be killed body can be uh, torn body can be destroyed but the soul cannot be cut by any weapon or burnt by any fire or moistened by any uh, water or wither or dried by wind you cannot uh, kill bishma the soul you can kill bishma's body but Bish you cannot kill bishma the soul so don't worry achedayo adaha yo ayam akledayo ashoshaya evacha nityam sarvagata stanur achalo ayam sanatana individual soul of bishma is unbreakable insoluble somebody may say that we can break it with hands and no, all it cannot break somebody may say i'll put it in a uh, asset uh, we cannot um, we can we can kill body in the acid but the body can will burn or dry it cannot happen the soul body can dry body can but not the soul the soul is everywhere the soul is in sun fire water air either everywhere the soul is there or can survive it is unchangeable the soul was sachidananda is sachidananda immovable that is the soul is always krishna's servant and will remain krishna's servant and was krishna so eternally the same the soul is always sachidananda avyakto ayam achinto ayam avikaro ayam chate tashmaevam vidvai nam nanu shochitam arhasi the soul is invisible that is the problem the problem is soul is invisible had we had had had, had we got vision to see that i am soul then we will not say you are american you are russian you are indian uh, you are pakistani you are muslim you are christian we will say hey you are soul i am soul but we cannot see the soul and we are saying we are saying that we are saying that uh, 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 somebody everybody nobody and we are just seeing the body and we are addressing everybody as body that's uh, not as not given us a power to see that we are soul invisible inconceivable we cannot understand without the help of a spiritual master we cannot understand conceive that we are uh, we are uh, soul immutable the soul can the soul does not change so in this way 
uh, so you should not grieve for the body because the body is going to be destroyed and the soul is not going to be destroyed. Achainam nitya datam nityam vaman iyase mritam tatapitam habavo nainam sochati arhasi Oh, uh, mighty armed Arjun, if you think other way, like a materialistic uh, soul uh, and uh, the soul will also go out of existence, still there is nothing to lament. Jata sahi dhruva mrityo dhruva janma mrityo cha tashmat apri arate na tum sochati arasi for what for one who has taken birth one has to uh, one has to uh, uh, sure he's sure to die and after death again he will take birth even if you think that there's nothing called soul it's all chemical so chemicals are just hundred and twenty rupees it's not worth crying for. So, so even if you think like an atheist, avyakta dani bhutani vyakta matyani bharata avyakta nitanati eva tatraka paridevana. So, if you think that all the beings were uh, unmanifested, they become manifested and again become unmanifested. So, what is uh, there to lament? They were chemicals, then now it became a body, then again it became chemical. What's the still there is there is no loss, it's just an energy, transfer of energy. So, Arjuna, whether you are a theist or a theist, there's nothing to worry. You just concentrate on your duty. The soul is so so amazing that people see that this is in coronavirus and an elephant. The soul is so amazing that people are saying that the soul which is so, so small is moving elephant. And people are uh, hearing about the soul, understanding about the soul, and they are very much amazed. So Krishna is saying, Acharyavat Pashyati Kashid Enam Acharyavat Vadati Tate Vachaina Acharyavat Chaina Manya Shnoti Swapi Enam Vedana Chaiva Kachita. Some look at the soul as amazing, some describe him as amazing, some hear about the soul as amazing, others, after hearing about the soul, cannot understand the soul at all. So people are confused. Who am I? They are still uh, here to understand that I am soul, you are soul, we are all soul. But people are so uh, confused and amazed that they cannot understand that how can we be we, we, uh, soul? Because uh, I see uh, the mirror, I see uh, uh, the body, I see the x-ray, I see the bones, I see, uh, I do CT scan of what MRI, I see only the body. I cannot see the soul. So they are cannot understand. So in a lecture, a devotee was saying, you are not the body. Uh, you are not this body. You are not this body. You are not this body. So one gentleman was getting very worried that you are saying, if I'm not this body, then I'm whose body? <laughs> so people are so amazed. Uh, they are not ready to accept that I'm not this body. I'm soul. So... They think that if I'm not this body, I must be some other body. So, but we should understand that we are in this body. And this is the conclusion of Dehi Nityam Abadha Ayam Dehe Sarva Sabha Rata Tashma Sarvani Bhutani Natam Sochatne Arasi What is the name of Aratha? The soul dwells in the body, can never be slain. And the body, even if we do Everything cannot be saved. So do your duty duty to uplift the spiritual consciousness. Be at the level of soul. Understand Vishma Pitama is not yours. And you are also not yours. And uh, you are mine. Vishma Pitama is mine. All of them are mine. So don't worry. I am giving an order as a father, that you are an elder son. These younger sons of mine are little not. Take a stick and beat them. I will be happy. But if you not beat them and they get more spoiled, you will be responsible. And I will not be happy with you. In this mood, Krishna is saying, you take the 
the bow, Gandiva, and shoot the arrows. And <clears throat> Arjuna, you should understand, you are a Kshatriya. From slope number, slope number 30 to 31, uh, Krishna speaks about the body. Uh, how do we get uh, limited happiness? You are a Kshatriya. And if you perform the act of uh, uh, a Kshatriya, you will deliver, you will kill Bhishma Pitama. And by killing Bhishma Pitama in this war, you will help Bhishma Pitama get a, a spiritual body or at least a heavenly body. So you do the need for in this way. <clears throat> Swadharma pi chai vashya api vikam pi tum arhasi dharmyatad yudha chayo nyam shatriyas jana vidyate. Considering your specific duty as shatriya, you should know that, that there is no better engagement for you than fighting on the religious principle. There is no need for hesitation. You take this war seriously and you do that, Dronacharya, even if it's killed by you, he will get a better destination. You do the need for help them to get a better destination. Yadrichaya chopava nam svargadaram apavritam suki na kshatriya partha labante yuddha idrishaam O partha Happy are those Kshatriyas who are fighting for, uh, who are looking for this kind of opportunity. Because in this fight, if they uh, win, they will get the, uh, in, they will get the kingdom. And if they die, they will get the, the heavenly abode. Patachetvam nimam dharmyam sangramam na karishashi tata swadharmam kirtim cha hitva papam vapsasi However, if you don't perform this act of uh, uh, of uh, fighting, people will not say that, oh, Arjuna, out of compassion, left this uh, war. How great he is. Just because he did not want to kill his grandfather, he left. Uh, just because he did not want to kill his brother, he left. Just because he did not want to kill his uh, teacher, he left. People will not say like this. People will say that he was a eunuch. He was afraid to face Karna, Bhishma, and uh, Dhanacharya, Kripacharya. That's why uh, his reputation, your reputation as fighter uh, will be lost. And people will speak ill words. That will be very painful. Akirtim chapi bhutani kata ishyanti te apyayam sambhavit asya akirti chakirti maranad that would be more painful than death. Death is very painful. But these kind of words will be very painful. The point Krishna is saying that from Krishna's plan, in this planet will also be very painful. Forget about getting happiness of uh, heaven and for, what to speak of uh, Vaikuntha Sukh. It will be very painful, horrible. And uh, it will be, we will be in a hopeless, helpless, and a worthless situation. Bayadranad uparatam mamshyanti tam maharata esham chatam bahumato bhutsva yashashi lagavam. All these great generals like Karna, Dronacharya, and Bhishma will laugh at you and say that you ran away because you are afraid and not ready to face them. And uh, they will think that you are insignificant, uh, worthless character, and they will. Uh, they, uh, and this will be very painful for you to hear. Vakya vadam cha bahun vadishyanti tava ahita nindanta stava samartayam tato dukkataram dukkim. What will be more painful than this? What will be more miserable than this? Oh, all the uh, all the enemies will take this opportunity to speak unkind words. Common people will laugh at you. It will be very painful. If you fight, you will get the kingdom. If you die, you will get fight and you die, you will get, you get 
the heavenly planets. But if you don't fight, it will be a very horrible, painful, hopeless, helpless, and uh, you know, worthless situation in which you will be there. Atova prasasi svargam jitva va bhukshashiki mahim tashma dutishta konteya yudhaya kritta nishtaya. Second time the word dutishta is uh, mentioned, and third time it will be mentioned in the fourth chapter and in the eleventh chapter. Uh, and then the fourth, uh, fourth chapter, third time it will be mentioned in the le- fourth time in the eleventh chapter. Oh, son of Kunti Kontaya, either you will be killed or uh, on the battlefield you, you will get the heavenly planet. So, so uh, if you win, you will get the the. So whether one gets a heavenly planet or he is in the the uh, gets a kingdom, but the happiness which is getting by following the the bodily duty. Will, uh, will be limited but arjuna you are you are entitled for unlimited happiness and that unlimited happiness you will get by understanding my plan by understanding who you are by understanding of your soul and by understanding the activity of soul that is called nishtam karmiyo bhakti yoga and if you take that process of bhakti yoga that will help you Help us get unlimited happiness. Limited happiness, unlimited happiness. These Krishna Prabhupada says in Bhagavad Gita, uh, slope number uh, second chapter, slope number one, uh, the spiritual teacher uh, master will help us understand who we are and how we are be, uh, getting entangled in this world. We are who we are is uh, uh, being spoken from slope number eleven to thirty, and why how are we getting entangled is being spoken from slope number thirty one to thirty seven. And how we can get entangled is being spoken from slope number 38 till 73. And uh, this is what we are supposed to do. Sukha dukke same kritva lava lava jaya jayo tato yudhaya yujaspuya naivam papam avapsasim. So, uh, so. You don't look for happiness or distress, loss or gain, victory or defeat. You just take it as a matter of duty. You will not incur sin. Do it because it's your duty. And if you take this process seriously as as a plan of the Lord, you will be following Bhakti Yoga. You will be following Nishkam Karma Yoga. You will be following the process called as Buddhi Yoga. And these will help us um, help us experience unlimited, ever increasing happiness, which we are entitled for at all place, all time, and all circumstances. We will be experiencing this kind of happiness. Esha te abhihita sanke buddhi yoga tavi mam shrinu buddhaya yuddhaya yapata karma bandha prahas yasi. So now I have told what uh, uh, so far I have spoken about the analytical study, and uh, this is about uh, the fruity results. Now I am going to speak about an. Uh, uh, that process by which we will come out of the bondage. So, till the here, Krishna uh, spoke who we are and how we get into bondage. And now, what Krishna is going to speak is uh, will be bring uh, will be allow us to free from bondage. So, this is called as buddhi or nishpan karmi or bhakti. These terms will be used. We should not get confused. What is buddhi or and what is Nishkam Karma Yoga? It all means the means Bhakti Yoga. Prabhupada says Nishkam Karma Yoga also is Bhakti Yoga. Bhakti Yoga is also Bhakti Yoga. So Bhakti Yoga means what? Bhakti Yoga means to use our uh, our uh, body in service of Krishna. Please Krishna. Neha Brikmana Shosti Pratvayo Na Vidyate Salpama Pese Dharma Satraye To Mahato Bhayat And when we practice Bhakti Yoga, Nishkam Karma Yoga, even a small act will save us from a great danger. Even if we just say Hare Krishna or we say Hara or we just eat little Prashad, it will save us from a great danger that 
danger is that after after leaving this body, at least we will not go back into the birth of uh, cycle of birth, death, old age, and become an insignificant uh, uh, creature. We will get a chance to become a human being, and in that lifetime again, we will get a chance to take up uh, the yoga and advance ahead. In this endeavor, there is no loss or diminution. A little advancement will protect from the greatest enemy. Neha abrismo na shosti pratvayo na vidyate. Trayato mahato bayad. Swalpam, little bit, will save us from big danger. If little bit, little act can save us from big danger, so lot of it will change, save us from all the dangers, all the pains, all the miserable conditions. So why not we go for that? So why don't you focus on that particular spiritual activity? This is what we should understand our Krishna's plan and we should become one with Krishna's plan. That is what we are to understand. Once we are one with Krishna's plan, what we'll experience at all time, all place, uh, it's unlimited, ever-increasing happiness. If we don't understand Krishna's plan, we will have many plans and all these plans will be making us, uh, uh, putting us helpless and hopeless and in a worthless situation. Life will be very horrible. Whatever we do, whatever we be, whatever wherever we go, it will be horrible, miserable, uh, hopeless, helpless, and, you know, in a very, very uh, miserable state. So we should be one point of resolute in this purpose and take this process very serious. And those who are not in Krishna consciousness, they have multiple purposes. When they are children, they will say, uh, I should pass... Uh, 10th standard. When they pass 10th standard, they say, I should pass 12th standard. When I pass 12th standard, they say, I should pass graduation. When I pass graduation, I should get a job. When I get a job, I should get uh, more money. When I get more money, I should get married. When I get married, I should get good children. I, when I get children, they said, I should get uh, uh, get the children married. When I get children married, then I should get grandchildren. And grandchildren, and this goes on. It's the purpose of the life is changing, 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 and changing. But one who has got a purpose that my goal of life is to please Krishna, whether one is in 10th standard, 12th standard, his aim is to, whether he's got son or grandson or great grandson, uh, great grandson, he's got only one purpose. I have to please Krishna. Whether I pass 10th standard or 12th standard, get married or children, grandchildren, I often with my children, grandchildren will be pleasing Krishna. That is one pointed focus. That is understood by coming in touch with a spiritual master. And that can be understood. And in this slok is very important because Prabhupada understood that this slok means, what this slok means by going through Srila Vishwana Chakrati Thakur's purport. Yesha Prasadat, Bhagavad Prasadat. Our purpose should be to please the spiritual master. And if we are not able to please the spiritual master, whatever we do, we will be in a hopeless, helpless, and a worthless situation. I think horrible. Yam, imam, pushpitam. And for one who does not know the goal of the life, he will be always bewildered by reading Vedas. Wow! If you do this, you will go to heaven. And wow, if you do this, you will get a beautiful body. Wow! You will be with uh, the uh, Apsaras. Wow! With the uh, Gandharvas, and you will uh, will get en uh, enchanted by all this in the flowery words. Yam imam pushpitam vacha prabadanti avi aschita vedavadar tapata nanya astiti vadina. These flowery words will uh, bewilder us. Wow! I will do this. I will become that, and we will get into that swaha swaha. And what not? We'll work hard to go to uh, heaven and other things. Kama.
cycle of okay this and become more 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 opulent if I get more money, I'll become more opulent. If I become more opulent, I'll become more... And then in the cycle of Bhogeshwara. Men of the small knowledge will be attached with the flowery words of Vedas, which are recommended uh, for elevation to heavenly planets, etc., etc., etc. And and their goal of life will be, I should be opulent, I should be powerful, and I should enjoy. And those who are into that, they will never understand that pleasing Krishna is the goal of life. business that should be our business. Yeah, For those who are into bhog aishwarya, into enjoyment and opulence, material opulence, for them, they will be bewildered. Oh, he has got a Rolls Royce, Balaj ka kamis, Mary kamis, Sapeth ka se, unke ghar mein hamare ghar se bada television ka se, unka ghar hamare ghar se bada gaya, unka beta America ka se chala gaya, unka beti, are, hamani se shadi kar gaya, are. So this will go on and on and on and on. That's too much. It's very painful for the heart and mind. Arjuna, Saiguna Vishaya Veda, Nistraiguna Arjuna, Nidanda Nitya Sapasta, Nidyo Vishema Atamahan, come out of it. Don't get bewildered by the Vedas. This Vedas mainly talk about the three modes of material nature, Tamalman, Rathman, Sathman, but they will give limited happiness. I am talking about unlimited happiness. Come over that. Be free from the three modes of material nature. Come out of this Dvanda, happiness, jai, ajay, auspicious, inauspicious. Come out of this. Just try to please me. Be happy in all time, all place, and all circumstances. So in this way, be established in the Atma. Try to please this Paramatma. Yavan Artha Udapane Sarvata Sampad Oh, if I if I do Krishna conscious activities, uh, will I be able to please Vishnu Pitama Tripachara? Yes, yes, yes. By pleasing Krishna the whole Yeshman Tushti, Yagat Tushti. Everybody will be happy. In Krishna's plan, everybody will be happy. Uh, happy Krishna will be uh, Krishna is happy, everybody will be happy. Yeshman Tushti Jagat Tushti. If we have 1,000 rupees not automatically 500, 200, uh, 150, 20, all these notes will be there. Just like if we go to super mall, we will get uh, grocery, we will get clothes, we will get uh, fruits, we will get uh, uh, toys, we will get everything. Otherwise, we have to go to separate, separate grocery here, toys here, uh, vegetable here, and uh, clothes here. Similarly, in the olden days, there is one big lake. Uh, in the olden days in the village for washing clothes one uh, dif different well uh, for uh, drinking water different well for uh, taking water different well for uh, uh, doing other activities another well but in a lake all these activities are done so Krishna is saying the same thing Yavan Artha Uda Pane Sikvata Sampadu Ke Yavan Tavan Sarvish Vedeshun if we understand our goal of life resolute in uh, pleasing Krishna, then automatically we will achieve all, we will we'll be able to fulfill all our duties. Separately, we did not uh, try to please the devtas, we did not please the, uh, you know, pitras and uh, others. That is our, uh, that is, the, 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 please Krishna is our real, real, real real uh, activity and for that we have got all the right karma neva dikaras te ma phale shukada chana ma karma phala hento ma te sasta karma nani to please krishna for that activity we have got all the rights to do service to the supreme person of god that we have got all the rights we have got no rights to enjoy the fruit of our activities. 
Krishna is saying, you are serving me. When we say karmani abhyadikarista, it doesn't mean that we should work in factory and we should work in, uh, uh, you know, corporate world or we should work in uh, mines and other things. No, karmani abhyadikarista, we should work for Krishna. That, for that, we have got adhikar, right? Krishna said, don't think about the fruit. Because you are serving me. I am the richest person. Lakshmipati. Suppose I am serving a person who is Lakpati. I will get something thousand rupees. If I am serving a Karodpati, I will get something in lakhs. If I am serving someone is Arbopati, I will get something in 50 lakhs. If I am serving somebody very, very, very Arbo Karbopati, I will get one or two crores. But I am serving Lakshmipati. How much we will get is beyond our thinking. Krishna said, don't think about the fruit. You are limited. You are Anu. And your thinking is Anu. Anu, you are, you are limited. Your thinking is limited. You will think that by breaking a coconut. Uh, you, so, so we go to Krishna and break the coconut and say, I want one room kitchen in Singapore. <laughs> so, but Krishna is saying, you broke a coconut not in front of Lakpati, Karodpati, Arbapati or Karvapati. You are breaking a coconut in front of Lakshmipati. I was thinking, a big palace in Golopurindavan, not even Switzerland, not even heaven, not in Brahmaloka, in Golopurindavan, and you all find it. So don't think about fruit. <laughs> so Krishna is thinking a lot when he's happy, when we do something for him. So we should not think about the fruit. We will give so much happiness which is beyond, beyond our chappad farke dega, beyond our, uh, our imagination. So don't think of it. And we may say that, oh, Okay, not to think about the fruit. So why should I, uh, you know, if I'm not supposed to think about the fruits, then why should I work? So we should not be attached to, I will not work, you know. But by serving Krishna, definitely, we, we have to do some activity. Without act, uh, activity, we cannot uh, sit for a, a moment also. So we have to do some activity. So we should do activity for pleasing Krishna and that will give unlimited happiness. In this world, somebody says that, okay, karma karma So from tomorrow you work hard and uh, I will not give you salary. So people will not work. So, but Krishna says, you work for me, but don't think about the fruit. You will get so much fruit and don't get attached oh, to the fruit. So that philosophy should not be there. Krishna says, work and work. I will give you so much, you will never ever think. That is what is the real art of uh, living. Yoga, Stav, Guru, Karmani, understand how to please Krishna. That uh, Understand how to work in a, such a way that Krishna will please. Yoga, Stav, Guru, Karmani, Sangam, Tekta, Danan, Jaya, Siddhya, Siddhya, Samatva, Samatvam, Yoga, Uchatye, and perform this activity happily. And uh, to, uh, don't get attached to results, failure and uh, success. Perform your activity. Jatayu was fighting with Ravana. He did not say, I will kill Ravana and we to rest. No, he was killed, but he was still glorious. So that way, uh, don't think about Siddhya. Just do the activity. This activity itself is glorious. Dure nahi avaram karma buddhi yoga dhanan jaya buddha saranam anvicha kripa na falahetava. That way, don't get attached to the fruits. And also, at the same time, dhanan jaya, stay away from all the bodily activities and stay away from those activities which are not going to please uh, me. And in this mood, you, you, Keep serving and don't get, don't get, don't get uh, influenced by the kripanas, those who are uh, attached to the fruit of their activities. If I do this, I should get this. Don't get attached to them. Bhakti yoga jaha iha ube sukrita duskrita tachma dogaya yajaswa yoga karma shukoshalam. This is art of all work. You become Yoga Karmashu Koshalam. You learn the real art of working. Real art of working is 
at all time, all place, and all circumstances, we should try, try, please, Krishna. Even by sleeping, if we are sleeping for the right amount of time, we are actually serving Krishna for say four hours, six hours. And if we are, when we are healthy, and if we are uh, sick or old, or, then it's a different story. So sleeping also becomes. Uh, uh, we can also make sleep as an activity to please Krishna. Karma jam budhi yuta hi phala chetta na chanma kunda me kunda padam kachya na mayam na mayam is beyond all the Maya. So just by serving Krishna, one will experience happiness at all time, all place, and circumstances, and it will be beyond the clutches of. Durga Devi or Maya Devi. So, 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 the problem is, a person, a person, a person is put in jail because he did not follow the order of the government. As soon as in the jail, if uh, the jailer finds that he is uh, following all the orders of the government and is improving, he will remove his uh, handcuff, leg cuff, and uh, he will be in the jail till the time, uh, till, till some more time. So in this way, uh, a person who starts for uh, pleasing Krishna, automatically Durga Devi will remove all the Haritatva and uh, Rajagun, Tamagun and Satagun and he will be a liberated soul. He will be moving in the uh, 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 in the material world as a Mukta Jiva. Yada, yadate Moha Kalilam and when we become focused in Krishna's service and we are not disturbed by all the flowery words uh, in the Vedas or uh, when we see other people in the material we kind of having a and we will we will we will and, uh, we will be we will be fixed then at all time all places we will understand that uh, the goal of life is to please Krishna and we will be happy and we will not be disturbed about uh, what so, we heard or we are going to hear Shruti Vipar Shruti Viprati Panate Yada Asyati Dikshalar Samad Achala Puti Tada Yogam Avapsasi in this way, one will never be disturbed by people's beautiful dresses, beautiful uh, positions, or uh, early words of uh, the uh, Vedas, and he will be fixed in pleasing Krishna. Because by serving Krishna, he is experiencing unlimited, ever increasing happiness at all time, all place, and all circumstances. Wow! Arjuna says, Wow! If this is the thing, uh, 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 the person is experiencing so much happiness. What is the uh, symptom of a person who is experiencing unlimited happiness? Even I want to uh, 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 judge, uh, see that I can become that kind of a person. Like I remember, like uh, at that, at one time of uh, my life, I wanted to uh, become an engineer. I wanted to go to IIT. So I saw my friends. Uh, who are senior to me for three or four years. Uh, they used to study chemistry, physics, mathematics. They used to have their, uh, you know, uh, even by playing cricket, they used to uh, hit the ball and say, A plus B, the whole squad is going to be A squared plus two, A B plus B squared. <laughs> and while walking also, they used to memorize all the chemistry formulas. So this was the symptom of a person who is going to pass out in IIT. And I was also trying to be like them. But I did not work so hard like they are working into that. So, uh, so you know, it happens. So Arjuna is also wanting to know the symptom of a person who is always happy. So he's asking a question which has got uh, four sub questions. Arjuna Vacha, Sita Pritya Kapasha, Samadhi Stasya Keshava, Sita Dikim Prabhasheta, Kim Ashita, Pritya Kim, Sita Pragya, Sita Pragya Kapasha. Pragya means knowledgeable. Pragya means very knowledgeable. Prakash Rupena gear, Yaniki, 100% knowledgeable. 
one who is fixed in complete knowledge. What is his language? Kya basha? Um, Stita Dhi Kim, uh, uh, what is the, uh, what does he, uh, uh, okay, uh, what are the symptoms of the person who has emerged in that, uh, uh, in full Christian consciousness? How does he speak? What is his language? How does he sit and how does he walk? So there are four questions. How does he speak? How does he speak? In? What are the symptoms? What is the language? How does, how does he react, respond? And how does he say when the danger comes? Uh, what does he do? And uh, how does he what means? Uh, does uh, he conduct his personal conscious activities? So there are four questions, and we'll go quickly to this. Sri Bhagwan was again Vedas Muni saying Sri Bhagwan. Sri means someone someone who is very beautiful. Bhagwan is the most important person, and Bhagwan is speaking. A beautiful, most important person is speaking. That means something beautiful, important is being spoken. That means that something important and beautiful for us. We should be very attentive and we should catch every word, forget every word, every letter, because it is going to be very important for us. We should be alert, not to speak or not to do or not to think anything, but be focused. Prajahati yada kamam sarvan partha manogatan atman yevatmana tushta siddha pragyata dhuchyate. To understand this, we can see Prabhupada. We can take one example of a minister who was under a king and he was a great devotee and he was always saying whatever happens, happens for good. And whatever happens, happens for good. Whatever happens, happens for good. Whatever happens, uh, uh, happens for our good. God does for our own our good. So once the king got his finger cut, so this fellow said, whatever happens, happens for good. They said, oh, king, how sad, how bad. He said, how oh, dare you say whatever happened, happened for Put him behind the bars. So this uh, minister was behind the bars. And the uh, king said, now how do you feel? Whatever happens, happens for good. What's the jail? And, uh, uh, and uh, the king was wondering, whatever happens, happens for good. This is good for you. And the king was angry and he went for, uh, you know, uh, thing. And she was in anger. You did not know what uh, where, where is his uh, entourage or his, uh, what do you call this was just gone. And he went ahead. And that was uh, no good day, Amava's day. As the, the, the inhabitants of the forest, they were looking for a healthy uh, fat uh, tall person. And the king was coming. They said, wow, this is our special uh, mercy. Uh, he is the, uh, no, what do you call uh, special uh, uh, gift for Bali Kabakra? <laughs> he's 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 the person for the for the sacrifice. So they caught him, and the king was not able to help. And they gave birth a uh, bath to him at around seven o'clock, and they applied haldi, kumkum, and everything. And at twelve o'clock, his head has to be chopped, and he was worrying what to do, uh, what to do, how. Uh, Pujari came, he did all the mantras and he, at 11.30 he was like, inspecting that everything is right. So he found that one of his fingers was cut. He said, what is this? He opens to the goddess of Kali and she will punish us. How dare you bring such a person? Throw him out. Bring him somebody else. And then the king said, whatever happens, happens for good. And he ran and he went to, directly to the uh, the prison house and he ordered the minister to be, you know, released. And he said, whatever happens for, happens for good, my finger was cut, it went for my good, but you were in the jail. Uh, what is good in that? He said that, my dear king, I am your uh, very, very obedient and uh, uh, very uh, disciplined uh, uh, minister of yours. Wherever you go, I will be following you. And because uh, you will be caught, uh, because I'll be also following you, even I will be caught. And when they, because you are healthy and fat, they will first uh, try to uh, chop your hair. But since they find that effect, then say next, and I will be the next. So because uh, uh, today I am in the prison, I am in this world. If I had not been in the prison, I would not be in the prison. So 
you understand what happens and the minister thinks that yes happens for a good so this is what is the symptom of a person who is totally in krishna consciousness he says whether it's in the palace it is for our good whether in the hut is it is for our good dukeshu anuvidh dukeshu anudvigna mana sukeshu vigata spriha bhitaraga vaya krodha sita dirmuni chate that person who is not disturbed whether uh, whether his painful situation is not uh, uh, is not elated when everything is uh, uh, he is in a palace and in a favorable or unfavorable situation he is always understand that the lord has put me in this situation uh, and this is the best thing for me sitaram 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 priye je vidhi rakram te vidhi priye so he is uh, he is uh, uh, free from rag bhaya krodha he knows whatever wherever uh, i am the lord is taking care of me and it is good for me yasarvatrana bisneha tatta apya shubha shupam na vinandanti na deshati tasya prajya pratistita so how does he respond if some uh, there some somebody is praising him he doesn't become his friend and somebody is insulting him he becomes his enemy somebody gives him gift he becomes a friend of the person who gives and somebody is uh, uh, you know trying to uh, take money from him then he uh, he becomes an enemy of that person you know he is always peaceful and he understand whatever good or evil praise or unpraise it is happening according to krishna's plan and if krishna wants that this money has to be taken let him take he will not be my enemy i must have done something bad taken some this money in the past but it that kind of thing and it gets some money he doesn't feel oh, oh, oh it is krishna's mercy that i am getting this money so in this way he is not disturbed he is fixed in his activity of he will come for mangala he will chant krishna uh, 16 times and he will do tulsi puja and come for bhagavatam classes he will not say wow now i am a rich man i need to go for mangala ते चयन कुर्म अंग इव सर्वसाइट there are lot of the students new year and everybody is dancing and singing and going for party there is disco and there is disco everything we will put headphone and listen uh, sit in this room we will not go out because everybody is crazy they are dressed improperly and they are drinking something which is improper they are eating something which is improper they are doing something which is improper so he will keep in a proper place and hear uh, bhagavatam lectures bhagavad gita lectures and be peaceful and get up from mangala like a uh, kurma krishna is giving a example of a tortoise what a example a tortoise has got a shell and it has got a head in two legs four hands when danger comes everything goes set the head all the six uh, which is popping out will go inside similarly when danger is there the sadhaka will not uh, will keep himself in a very 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 protected environment that is bhakta sangha um that's why krishna uh go swami and also krishna i think that they said that we should asat sanga tyaga asat sanga sadhya it is uh because that will uh, a devotee knows that i have been non krishna conscious for many many life times my mind was always wandering today due to god's mercy somehow my mind is listening to my intelligence it under the clutches of my sadhana i should be very careful najarati durghatna gati real if i come uh, a little diverted immediately uh, my mind will be disturbed like a hunter of a lot of endeavor he in his uh, net he is catching some animals he knows that if he is little in alert these animals will run away similarly in the net of 
sadhana in the net of austerity uh, the 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 but the mind is now uh, in the control of my uh, net of the sadhana and if it's little unalert immediately the mind will also run away so he is very careful at the same time he is able to do that because he's getting strong he likes getting up early he likes seeing krishna early in the morning he likes be, uh, being uh, in the association with he's got a hair tech that's why it is easy for him otherwise it is not easy that you know one can stay away from that kind of situation vishaya mini vartante niraharasya dinam rasavartya rasapasya param drishtva nivartate record of that devotee uh, will understand that because he is finding higher taste he will immediately give up going to restaurants on uh, new year day or being with uh, going for party on a new year day because he has got the taste of going coming to mangalarti and listening to bhagavad gita and kirtans yatha aur ki api kontaya purus asya vipachita indriyani martini karanti prashaba he knows that he sadak knows that the senses are very 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 um, uh 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 the sense scan uh, are very strong and impetuous they can immediately take us uh, the eyes can take us uh, if i don't say myself from this thing the eyes will say wow what a good movie here uh, i should go there or the uh, the sound will the uh, ears will say wow, wow let us go to this uh, and the uh, tongue will say this restaurant we should go on new year day he is very careful this situation may make me and krishna conscious so he keeps himself very very carefully away he knows now or never the mind has come into the clutches of uh, sadhana bhakti if i miss this opportunity never ever i can uh, get the mind again into the clutches of this now or never i will at all cost be careful i will not give up krishna consciousness i will not give up krishna's devotees association tanu sarvani samyamya yatas tamatra sehi yash indriyani tasya pragya istita and he will be careful that uh, uh, the he will not go to a place where uh, uh, where non devotees are there and non devotional activities are happening and he will he will endeavor to be focused in krishna consciousness he knows that even for a split of a second if he associates with a non devotee or a non devotional activity immediately the mind will think about that particular non devotional activity and once that thinks about that thing maybe uh, he uh, that uh, then his mind will go into it and he will decide to have uh, that particular to do that particular activity and from that desire if it is fulfilled it will become more into it so that is very nicely described by krishna in this uh, two slokas this is how a person can lose everything daya to vishaya pansan sangaste shupa jayate sangaste kama kama tu da vijayate just by contemplating on something which is non Uh, Krishna conscious, or let us take an example of a student from a very good family. He is going to the college, but and he looks uh, for the first time in the college uh, from a well-to-do family. He has got a very good reputation. His father has got a very good reputation, but uh, he goes to the college, falls in love with, uh, he uh, looks at a beautiful girl, and again looks at the beautiful girl, again looks at the beautiful, and he comes home and thinks about that, looking, 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 and contemplating on this girl. He starts off. feeling he gets a, 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 a desire the desire that she is mine and he start desire becomes so so intense that on 14th of february he goes with a proposition uh, proposal saying that uh, you know uh, you become my friend you know that is valentine day but the girl is uh, uh, girl uh, uh, girl is uh, uh, says okay you can be my friend but uh, again the friendship goes and he says wow she is mine she is mine she is mine and he starts thinking i will marry her 
uh, and he says that I will uh, I will marry this girl, I will marry this girl, I will marry this girl. But when Balram Jethi comes, and that is uh, uh, the Narayan Purnima day comes, and that is Raksha Bandhan day comes, the girl comes, you are my friend, not only my friend, you are also my brother. And he says, what? <laughs> what is this? And he says that, and he comes with a uh, uh, with another uh, card, which is the invitation card for a wedding. And he says, what? If he, he cannot become mine, you cannot become anyone's. And he becomes really crazy and he becomes angry. And he says, that wedding day in my last day and your last day and your uh, would be uh, last day also. And he takes a, a knife and goes to kill uh, the would be uh, uh, husband of the girl and the girl. And it was so bewildered that he forget that. And, uh, before college, he was such a good person from a good uh, family and he's got a very good reputation. Somehow, he becomes uh, mad. Somehow, someone's pretty tough. He said that I will kill her. Before killing myself, I will kill her and kill him. How dare she does that? Smriti Brahmsa, Buddhinasha, his brain, uh, his intelligence is totally, uh, totally gone. Buddhi does pranashati and he does that activity and he goes to jail. <laughs> so this is what happens for Sadhaka. So Sadhaka knows that if he is gives little freedom to his mind, immediately or senses um, in the new year day, immediately something wrong will happen. He is very careful and he does not uh, go to such un Krishna conscious uh, environment. Ragadesha Vimuktesh to Vishyan Indriyas Charan Atma Vishepi De Yatma Prasadana Dikati. And if he's very, very, very <laughs> careful and practices Krishna consciousness, he becomes free from all kind of he, he, he actually achieves so much happiness, so much happiness that he is not bothered about uh, um, what is uh, if somebody is getting more money or somebody is uh, becoming more elevated or is, uh, if he is being uh, you know if he is being put into a very hellish condition he is not worried about that he is free from all attachment and aversion and because he is finding so much happiness in Krishna consciousness he wants to practice Krishna consciousness more and by doing that he is experiencing more and more happy, happiness. Prasadam Adigachati. He receives real mercy of the Lord. Prasad. We think Prasad is mercy of Lord. Prasad means uh, 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 Prabhu ka Shachat Darshan. Prabhu ka Shachat Darshan. Prasad. That is mercy of the Lord. Prasad means Prasad also. Before it's gone, we used to think prashad means small peda or small coconut piece. That is prashad. But when we come to Iskon, we understand prashad means <laughs> full plate of prashad. Then we say this is maha prashad. But real. <laughs> so prashad means mercy of the Lord. That is also mercy, but real mercy of the Lord is that uh, the Lord is happy with us. Prashad is a. Because the father is saying, the son is trying to, uh, uh, you know, speak, walk. The jailer is trying to see that the prisoner is now actually improving. The doctor is seeing that the madman is now getting cured. The teacher is seeing that the student is really uh, doing well. The teacher becomes happy. The doctor becomes happy. The uh, jailer becomes happy. Similarly, Krishna becomes happy. Prasade sarvadukkanam hanir ashopa jayate prasanna cheta sohi asu buddha buddhi paryava tisate. In, in this satisfied, um, for one who is happy in Krishna consciousness, satisfied, he automatically, because Krishna is happy with him. The jailer is happy with him. The jailer removes all the handcuff and the uh, uh, leg, uh, leg, uh, leg cuff. And the prisoner is walking in the jail uh, as a free man. And sometimes he's sitting in the jail. The jailer calls him in his office and he helps the jailer. And sometimes he drinks tea and talks. He's, he's a free man. But after a few days, uh, maybe August 15th or 26th, he will be uh, released. 
in that time he is free, but he is in this world. Similarly, a devotee who is following Krishna consciousness completely, Durga Devi will remove all the, uh, all the, what do you call, Rajagun, Tamagun, and Satagun, the, you know, Adhyatmik, Adhibhatik, Adhiklesh, she will be uh, in the material, but a liberated man, he is a, a Muktatma, and if very auspicious, they will come, they will go back home, back to God. He will be in this world, but he will be not like the people of this world who are he is in the prison house, but he is not like the other prisoners. And he is in the uh, uh, hospital, but he is not like mad like the other uh, uh, mad patient. He is in the school, but he is not like the other uneducated student. Teacher is happy, doctor is happy, the prisoner, uh, jailer is happy. So Durga Devi is happy. Nasti buddhir ayuptasya, na cha yuptasya bhavna, na cha bhavan. For a person who is not following Krishna consciousness, who is in the jail and not following the uh, orders of the, uh, the jail, he will be punished more. For a madman who is in the hospital, he is not uh, behaving, misbehaving, he will get uh, bad treatment. And for a student who is not studying properly in the school, he will get more, uh, what do you call, uh, punishments and uh, uh, homework and what all after the school uh, what is that called um, uh, extra five, half an hour yeah, extra half an hour half of the church uh, there's a word for it Special case. It's not special. It's not a special case. Like you said, uh, uh, two hours uh, you have to be in the uh, two extra hours you have to be out of the school. Okay. Something like that. Retention. So that way, so he has to be there. So, so for us, for the living entity who is not in Krishna consciousness, who is not connected to Krishna, will not be uh, uh, peaceful. Uh, will not be intelligent and he will not be peaceful and for a person whose mind is not steady, he cannot achieve peace and not achieve peace. Uh, he can never ever become happy to be, be peaceful. To be peaceful, the mind should be the mind should be steady. So for a devotee who is enduring in Krishna consciousness, he is careful not to let senses go here and he makes his mind steady with his uh, sadhana. Indriya Indriyanam hi charantam yan mano anu vidyate tadasya hati pragnam vayu namam vivambasi. He knows that if he's little careless, immediately uh, from Krishna consciousness, he may go to some other consciousness. He is very careful. He knows, like he is in an ocean and he is in an ocean and uh, he is like a boat. And the wind of uh, uh, sense gratification can drag him from one place to another place. He has to go towards the north, but the, uh, he knows he has to go to the, the goal of life is to Krishna. He has, knows that he has to go to the north, but the wind of sense gratification will come. It can take him, uh, what to speak of, uh, north, take him directly to uh, the east or uh, then to the south, exactly to the opposite side. So he is very careful, like a hunter who has caught the animals in the net. This is in the 11th camp. He is very careful. If he is little in entity, all the animals will run away. Mind will not say, wow, you have this Mangalati for so many days. Oh, today you are going to the New Year party. You are uh, sitting with the drunkards. Wow. I will not dis be disturbed. No, mind would say. <laughs> so that's why the, the devotee is very, very careful. Tashmad yasya mahabaho nigrihitani sarvasa indriyani na indriyat atebya tasya pragya pratista. Therefore, oh, mahabaho, mighty armed Arjuna, the senses should be refrained from sense object. We should be careful. On New Year Day, we should not by mistake also peep outside. Otherwise, you know, they will be dancing the whole night. In the New Year night, when the devotee is sleeping, the non-devotees are dancing. And when the non-devotees are sleeping, 
the devotees are going from Mangalarti. So <laughs> that is what is being told. Yanisha Sarva Bhutanam Tarsyam Jagriti Sam Yaki Yashyam Bhutani Satisha Pashato Muni. Well, what is day for the devotee is the night for non devotee. What is night for non devotee uh, is uh, day for devotee. It means that uh, uh, when the, uh, the activity which the non devotee takes more interest, uh, devotees should not take interest. The activities in which devotees are taking interest, getting up the non devotees will not take interest. So, the devotee who is practicing Krishna consciousness is very, very careful, careful, he is trying to save himself and a day will come, Krishna will reciprocate uh, and uh, he will give him so much happiness that at all time, all place, all circumstances, he will be happy. sarve <laughs> His mind will become like an ocean. In the ocean, rivers flow, but the ocean will not overflow. And sometimes the water comes. Similarly, a man who is happy in Krishna Pachan, money comes. He will take this money. And use it in Krishna. Man comes, he will take this Dhanam, Janam. People will come, he will take this people and uh, and uh, give it to Krishna's service. He will get power, position, he will all apply it to Krishna's service. Like Prabhupada. Pani okay. came, he took it to build temples. Man came, he made him disciples, devotees and spread Krishna consciousness. In this way, uh, his Prabhupada was not disturbed. A non-devotee gets disturbed if he gets little money. Wow! He says, let us go to Mauritius and other places. Switzerland. No, no, no. He gives that money. He knows this belongs to Krishna. He's like a banker. Uh, cashier. And the cashier gets money, puts it in the money. Because somebody takes money, he gives that money. But it is not like he gets one lakh, but he starts dancing. Oh, oh, money, money, money. And uh, somebody is asking for uh, two lakhs. And it says, What happened? He says, What happened? He is serving the bank. So, in this way, a person is not disturbed, like a non devotee. His mind becomes like an ocean. Where a non devotee, his mind looks like a, a cup of uh, uh, half liter. If we put water, 200 ml, 300 ml, 400 ml, 500 ml, it's okay. But if it is 600 ml, the water will flow. Out. Non devotee. Bhagavan ki paas jai. Non devotee. Das lakh rupiya. Then he says that ek karo rupiya te ge. Ek adashi ke din apko jo hai I will give you ten karo rupees. You come to our office and eat omelette and drink like that. And uh, just roam around, do this and that. Then I will not do. Hundred crores. You say okay, okay. But a pakka devotee will say no, 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 because he knows what happiness hundred crores will give is nothing, because Krishna consciousness is giving that kind of happiness which even Brahma. A Brahman who cannot experience nothing in this world can give me that happiness. Guru Maharaj is saying, O oh Krishna, you are giving the kingdom of the whole Brahmanda. The happiness which is going to come out of this is like a broken piece of glass which is worthless. What I experienced in the six month, it's like a coin, oh, big coin. Uh, and what is that? Plus, yeah. in front of this big going to tank. 
and he says, I don't want to become the king. And that is what a devotee experiences in Prabhupada's organization. He gives up everything. A big scientist, he gave up and become a devotee. A big manager, he gives up everything. Son of a big man, he gives up everything. Actress, Gopal Krishna was in love. He gave everything. Bhakti, son of Damodar Maharaj, he gave up that. Actress is like Burijan Prabhu's wife, Jagatani Mataji, gave up everything. That's because they are expressing something which is giving more happiness than that money, position, and that fame. We Aya Kama Mir Sarvan Puman Charati Nis Priha Virmama Nirankara Sashanti Matika Chati. In this way, he must nothing is mine. And whatever I am doing is actually done by Krishna. Because of Krishna, what is this happening? I am able to speak, I am able to walk, I am able to talk, I am able to do this. Because of Krishna's mercy. If Krishna's mercy is not there, I am not able to open the eyes or open the mouth. He has got, he has got, I want this, I want that. No, but I was like, 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 and that person, Esha Dhamni Sita Pata Naina Prapya Vikmo Hatyate Vasyam Amta Kalipi Brahmu Kipanam Vichate As he is living, he is peaceful and day he is going to leave the body, he will uh, go back home, back to God. That prisoner who is following the order of the jailer, his handcuff, leg cuff will be removed and uh, he'll be in the jail till the, but he will be unlike the other prisoners. That pay, man, uh, that patient who is will be unlike the other patients. Who will be in the hospital and one fine day he will leave the uh, hospital. That student will study very nicely. The results will come and he will pass out and go to next level, and others will be failed. And in <laughs> similarly, that devotee of the Lord. Who is practicing Krishna consciousness? Durga Devi will release all the Rajagun, Tamagun, and Satagun clutches and Adhyatmik, Adhibhatik, Adhidevi clash. And a day he leaves the body, he will go back home, back to God. So these are the symptoms of a devotee who is totally into Krishna consciousness. Arjuna is pleased and is ready to take up Krishna consciousness, but he has got a doubt. So, us. We should take up this process seriously because this, what Krishna says, is for our good. And if we practice this Krishna consciousness, we will definitely achieve what Krishna has promised that is unlimited happiness as we are living. And when we leave this body, definitely in the spiritual world, we'll get uh, ever increasing unlimited happiness in service of the Lord. So let us take this process, be happy and make others happy. Hare Krishna. Stop recording. Any questions at this stage? Uh, I would require a headphone. In my room, headphone is there.